Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Last week we started the framing by framing out the bed and this week we're going to continue along the side wall and uh, build a, what did you call it? We're building an accent wall that will go behind our dinette. Yes, that's right, an accent wall. So this is kind of its own project because it's also going to cover up the main channel where all of our wires are running. So we have to get our shore power hookup figured out and we have to figure out where we're going to have all those wires kind of come out to. And we also want to put a really cool design on that wall so that it looks cool and has a bit of a personal touch. So the, the design was all Natalie's idea, so she's super <laughs> excited about it. So I can't wait to see her idea come to life, um, but that's what we'll be working on this week. So this is kind of the idea that I'm looking at and the dimensions that I'm thinking about where this would be the height and this is kind of the width. We would have a dinette seat here and another one here and the table would go here and be mounted on a two by four right there and we'll have the design on kind of either side. I've always considered myself creatively challenged. So this is kind of a new exciting project for me to take on something more design oriented and I'm excited to see how it turns out, but I'm a little nervous because I know I'm not usually good at stuff like this. Um, but I think it'll be really nice to have kind of a personal touch. We've gotten inspired by watching some other YouTubers who are really uh, creative and talented. and um, So we kind of want to try our hand at it and personalize our build a little bit more. I hope it turns out well and we're trying to kind of be resourceful about it. And um, I'm tailoring some of these uh, measurements so that we can use leftover pieces of wood that we have from the subfloor. But I think if we sand it and stain it and um, kind of arrange it in a cool way, it'll look more rustic and less dingy. Hopefully we can make it work for us because lumber is really expensive and we're trying to cut costs where we can and reuse materials. So we'll see how well this works out. When we did the subfloor, we had a bunch of these six inch pieces left over that are really long strips and I think I can kind of use those to get a cool design. I think the first thing I want to do is use the table saw to cut them down so that they're all exactly the same size. Now that we have the boards at a uniform size, I'm gonna keep going using the chop saw to cut diagonal cuts into the large rectangles to make smaller parallelograms that I wanna use for the design. And I'm not gonna measure out the height of each one of these because I want them to be a little bit irregular so that I can kind of mess around with the pattern. So while Natalie's been hard at work cutting and sanding all the pieces we'll be using for the backsplash behind the dinette, I've been trying to get our measurements locked down so that we could start cutting out the panels that we'll be using for our dinette. Oh, it is not easy. <laughs> I've been going back and forth on how I can get an angle in our dinette based off of um, our measurements that we took. And the truth of it is, is, I just don't think we'll be able to fit the dinette in how we want it to while having an angle on the backrest. We have a couple constraints that we're trying to work between. One is that we wanted the space in between the dinette to be center aligned with that third window. And then also we don't want to push too far back and take too much out of the couch area. So with that, the dinette's going to be pretty small and I think we're going to have to cut out the diagonals and just have a straight 90 degree back. But I think we've talked it over and I think that'll be our final decision. We're planning on having pillows, you know, throw pillows and stuff. So I think we can get around it. And you know, the couch area, I'd rather focus on making that lounge worthy. And the dinette, we're just gonna be using for eating and working. I'm working on cutting up the first long rectangular plank to get the smaller pieces that I want for the design. And I just went ahead and cut a couple just to test it out and see how it's gonna go 
and I cut them and then sanded. And I think going forward, I'm gonna sand the whole plank and then cut out the pieces. I think that's gonna work. And after that, I wanna kinda glue them together in a design. So now that I've done a couple of test pieces, I think I have an idea of how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna keep moving and hopefully I figured out how to make this as efficient as possible. a lot of sanding down to get to these. This is my first full board, has been sanded and cut and cut again and sanded again. And I think I have the pieces, the size and texture that I want. So these are ready for staining, but I'll probably keep making more before I start with that. All right, well, you can see it behind me, but I got the first two cut out. Um, you can probably see a little bit more of what I was talking about earlier with the straight back. You know, it's not my first choice, but I think it's kind of what we'll have to work with, and so we'll just have to get used to it. In the end, it's not, not a big deal. We wanted the three inch back um, for a reason. We wanted to have some extra storage, so we didn't really want to compromise on that. So this is what we ended up with. The two that I just made were out of sheathing plywood. It's a little bit worse off in quality wise. So those will be going against the windows. And then the two, that, two panels that we will be sanding, we bought a whole new sheet of sanded plywood for that. The reason we're not using the sanded plywood is because it's like twice the price as the sheathing. Um, so I don't want to waste it on the panels that we won't be seeing. So this is just for the structural support and then we'll have the nice facing panels outwards towards the hallway. But I feel really good about it. I'm going to measure out and cut the rest. Good morning guys. It's day two of Project Dinette. <laughs> so yesterday I um, finished creating the four panels for the dinette. Um, I'll be honest, I had some nightmares last night about the straight edge backs. And so I think we're gonna try to workshop it today and try to come out with a new solution because I just don't think we should put the 90 degree backs into our dinettes. But enough of me, Natalie has been doing work over here on her little design. Let me show you guys. <laughs> so she has been cutting and sanding all of these pieces. From what you can see that I have laid out on the ground, I'm about halfway done. So I'll need to do all of that one more time and then I can start staining and then once it's dry, put them together. But I'm happy with how it's turning out. It's what I was imagining. I think it's gonna look a lot cooler when you have the different stained pieces to kind of distinguish them because right now they kind of blend together. But it's coming along, it's just, it's taking forever to cut and sand every little piece. I am having fun with it though. Well, it looks really good, so I'm really impressed with it. You're making a lot more progress than my uh, little chair cutouts that we're probably gonna have to workshop today. I don't know. <laughs> if, you, if you look at it in terms of what's gonna be visible in the finished product, I think you're making more progress. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right, well, we're just gonna jump right back into this morning and we'll see how much we get done. So this is what the final, well, version two of our dinette will look like. I feel a lot better about this. Um, before, we had a three inch back that went all the way up, 90 degrees. I just couldn't, I'm glad we wanted to change it. Um, so what we did was I cut another three inches off the top so that I could get a good slant here. I wanted to leave about an inch and a half on the top 
just so that we have some type of, I don't know, border between the dinette and the couch. I don't want just a nice sharp point, but like on top of the dinette. So we need to have some, at least an inch here. Um, but yeah, so Natalie, if you wanna come on this side and give it a try, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. This is what it's gonna be like exactly. Yeah, give or take. Like, do not let me fall. I'll try not to. Okay. And then lean back. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a crazy. Lot better, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually comfortable. Yeah, I'm glad. It's look, it doesn't feel like a torture device. Gosh, <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. Just a quick update, I've been busy trying to cut out the panel that will go on the floor and then the top panel that will go between the, um, the dinette cutouts that I already made. Those I'm planning on making all out of the three quarter inch just for support, but we do still want a little bit of um, storage space in between the backs of the dinettes. So I think I'll be doing a quarter inch plywood on those and then just adding hidden supports in the middle. So I still need to work on those, but all the front facing supports are done. So before I start putting anything together, I think I'm gonna have to go and cut out a, uh, a box where we'll be putting our cabinet door that we'll be able to access our electronics from. So I need to cut that hole out of one of our panels. All of the pieces cut and sanded and they're ready to be stained. I went ahead and laid them out on the floor here so I can kind of see what it's going to look like when we put it in the wall and I think we have enough to move forward. I'm excited to see it start to come together. I think having it stained and painted different colors will really make a huge difference because right now it just kind of looks like I rearranged the slats of wood which I guess is technically what I did. That and I made a ton of sawdust. We realized we had been spending the entire video in the workshop, so we decided to switch it up a little bit and come sit in the bus. We miss being out here, but soon enough we should have a dinette and then it'll be really easy for us to come out here for our lunch breaks. Yeah, we came out here uh, one time yesterday and it's doable, we can see with the lights and stuff, but we only have one good chair in here. So we end up eating lunch kind of out of our lap, but <laughs> it'll be nice when we have a dinette. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So obviously we didn't get to everything today, which is fine. So we'll just pick this up um, starting next week. We have big plans for it. We're really excited to get something that we'll all see done. Granted, I guess we already finished the ceiling and that was like the biggest aesthetic project we finished so far. And also to be fair, that was awesome. So yeah. I can't wait to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've just set the bar really high for ourselves now. <laughs> All right, well. We'll pick you back up next week when we'll keep working on the dinette and we'll see how far we can get then. Thanks for watching. Bye.